so we finally meet. Dramatic pause. Chicken man. Do you have anything to say for yourself before we begin? In this unstable popsicle. Real. Level 100. So I haven't done a joke backrooms level video in over a year. So, uh, so here you go. I myself am in need of a good laugh, and I bet y'all are too. You're all a bunch of sad sacks. Anyways, let's see how goofy these levels and entities can be if this video makes you even slightly giggle or exhale rapidly through your nose. Drop a sub for the old Brewster, would ya? Love y'all. Let's check out some joke backrooms media. So first in the video, I want to go over an entity known as the Spogger Entity, or 67-Z. This is actually a subspecies of Entity 67, Party Goer Virus. We actually have no idea how this subspecies occurs, how it's reproduced or whatever, but what we do know is that these entities are remarkably dangerous to anyone. They take the appearance of a couple things. One of them is a SpongeBob popsicle that can actually be consumed, and that's why they're so dangerous. You can ingest them. You see, the SFV Party Goer Virus is actually laced in this unstable popsicle. Like it's it's inside of it. Meaning that if you eat it, it'll just taste normal, but you'll be swallowing the virus. Cool. So people who have eaten Entity 67-Z say that it tastes like peach and cotton candy mixed together, just so like a normal popsicle. But this funny looking safe exterior is just a facade for the entity's true form. Because in reality, it looks like a melty, eldritch horror sponge full of holes and dirt and grime. A horrific and disgusting smell permeates from these holes, and it smells really bad like pineapple and seawater. Like Spongebob. They have long, lengthy arms that look like old spaghetti noodles, and they leak this black liquid from their pores. They're able to transform from this horrific creature into a cute Spongebob popsicle at any time they want to. They do this in order to hide in plain sight and to camouflage themselves and to lull people into a false sense of security. But once you consume a spogger from its popsicle form, the virus will then root itself inside of your stomach like a, a butterfly cocoon. It's like a meat. It's like a sack. A sack cocoon. They won't show itself for days and you won't feel any symptoms until a few weeks later when you'll begin to feel fatigued and sweat. Then you'll notice this huge tumor growing out of your stomach. And inside of that little tumor is a spogger parasite. The parasite will then grow into a huge size, emerge from its fleshy cocoon, jump off of your body, and run into the shadows to stalk you. After the spogger lurks near you for long enough, it'll stalk you until it eventually mentally wears you down. Until you, you can't go on any further, you just collapse. And then it'll absorb you into one of its oozy holes. Then you'll just be one of many added to its giant interior. The more prey consumed by a spogger, the bigger their sponge will be. Kind of like a skin stealer. You know, they steal the skin, they put it on. These people steal bodies of humans and put them inside of them. Spoggers like to hide in popsicle form near human settlements or inside of grocery stores, and that way they can have a chance to be eaten by luring people close to eat them. I mean, how can you say no to a little SpongeBob popsicle? I mean, I, I mean, I'd probably eat it. So this is a subspecies of the party goer that lives as a popsicle, and then it becomes a tumor on your body once you eat it, then it pops out of the tumor, and then it eats you. Sounds like the most normal backrooms entity ever, really. Next is a little place called the Backarooms. No, not the Backrooms or Back A Rooms, the Backarooms. This level has been given a class zero difficulty and is 100% safe. In fact, it might be the uh, safest level of all time. The Backarooms is a huge warehouse that's full of nothing except for infinite boxes of Girl Scout cookies. There are literally all kinds of Girl Scout cookies here, like do -si dos and whatnot, but the main ones here are the Macaroon cookies. You get it? You get it? Backarooms? Macaroons? <laughs> This warehouse is huge, and it's approximately 50 by 50 miles, and there's like no furniture or anything except just metal shelves where the cookies are. The shelves are fully stocked, and even if you take a box off, they'll be restocked by a member of the Followers of Juliet, which I'll talk about later. 
There are absolutely no lights inside this level, but somehow everything is lit up. You can just see everything. And the entire place has good vibes. Some wanderers who have been there say that it smells like cookies and a Safeway store or a Kroger or a Walmart or something like that. Now, since this is a safe level, there's a couple outposts here of people who want to stay and eat macaroons forever. One of them is literally just to restock the shelves with macaroons constantly. These are the followers of Juliet. That's all they do is just restock the macaroon shelves and they restock the cookies and stuff as well. There is another group called the Acolyte of Powell that do not like that. They don't like the cookies being restocked. They don't like the Juliet followers. The two groups are always fighting because of this and you see the Acolytes of Powell don't like the Girl Scout cookies because they want the shelves to be full of their popcorn. They don't like the cookies because they're free. They sell their popcorn for an exorbitant price. So they don't like any of this free cookie stuff being given out. They want to charge the poor wanderers of the backrooms for their popcorn. So they try to eradicate the cookies to sell the popcorn. It doesn't work because that's probably the lamest thing I've ever heard in my life. But they seem to be under some kind of delusion that people will actually buy their overpriced popcorn. Don't give them business. To enter this level, you have to be in the hub and find a macaroon box laying around and touch it. And then you'll get sent here. Then to exit, you have to eat 10,000 boxes of macaroons and you'll be sent back to the hub and uh, to be, quote, ridiculed on how fat you've become, end quote. So you can only come here if you can eat 10,000 boxes to get out. Next up is a joke entity that is probably the weirdest one that I've ever gone over, but it's Entity 667, or Satan. Now, Satan lives in a level called Hell, of course, but we don't really know where that's at. He's seen other places as well. He doesn't just stay there. The entity itself is a large creature that has red skin, pointy horns, and a black goatee. You all probably knew that, though. Anyways, he's known for his black suit that is always in a clean condition, and he roams around the back rooms condemning people for their sin to spend an eternity in level hell. Although, when he does this, it doesn't actually do anything, so he's just walking around pointing at people, like saying that they're condemned, but literally nothing happens. He's just standing there looking dumb, which is pretty funny. Yeah, you know, I think the lore ends there, though. Just, just a weird devil-looking entity. You see, it goes way deeper than this. One day, another entity known only as the Chicken Man allegedly challenged Satan to a fight. The fight was transcribed, and it reads as follows. So we finally meet. Dramatic pause. Chicken man. Do you have anything to say for yourself before we begin? <laughs> Very well. Satan pulls out a fiddle and begins to play hypnotizing and ethereal songs. The song continues for 17 hours. Ha! Ah, think you can beat that? The chicken man pulls out a fiddle. Dramatic pause. The chicken man breaks the fiddle in half and lunges at Satan, stabbing him in the left kidney with the sharp end of the fingerboard. Ah! You stabbed me in the left kidney! The chicken man removes his weapon, and blood begins to spurt from the newly made orifice. Ah! Blood is spouting from my newly made orifice! The chicken man drops the remains of the fiddle and laceratingly tears Satan to ribbons with his bare hands. Ah! I'm being laceratingly torn to ribbons with his bare hands! What's left of him falls over. Dramatic pause. Dead. Satan. I, or what's left of me, is falling over. Dramatic pause. Dead. I honestly think that was a work of art. That, that needs to be published in some kind of book, I think. So the chicken man vanquishes the devil from the backrooms. That's a pretty neat story, gotta say. It's, it's probably one of the most normal stories I've ever read about the backrooms. Thanks, buddy. Oh, also, when there's like, apparently a different version of Satan in the backrooms, it's British Satan who condemns people to British hell instead of the regular hell. I, I don't know what that's all about, but I, I thought I should let you know. Cool. Lastly for the video and following up that perfect entity is level 100. No, not that one. The real level 100, the washing machine. The level looks like and works like the inside of a washing machine from real life. And if it gets into the level, you'll be shrunk down and shoved the inside of the machine and you're stuck there. If you don't get out of there in time, the machine will just circle around forever and spew water at you for eternity. Sounds like fun, right? I mean, that's, that's pretty much the entire thing. The only way to enter this level is if you accidentally or purposefully spin around in circles a bunch, just like in a random place and you'll get sent here. And then the only way to leave is to get to the back of the washer and then no clip through the back of it before the cycle starts and you get trapped in a cycle forever. Leave a like if this level sure replace the real level 100.
that was it for the joke levels video. I hope you enjoyed it. These are probably the dumbest things I've ever read in my life, but I thoroughly enjoyed reading them, and I hope you enjoy me reading them. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. What, what is my life, bro? I think it lightens up the creepiness of the back room sometimes, and it's really nice to just sprinkle these here and there. If you did enjoy, leave a like. I would love to do more of these. Um, if you want other series like this, also let me know in the comments. Check below why you're down there for my second and third channels, as well as my socials and all that stuff that I don't like plugging. Anyways, I love y'all. Thank you so much for your support. I'll see you all in the next video on any one of my channels. Bye.